Okay, here what we want to do is we want to evaluate a scalar integral with a parametrization. So in doing so, the first thing that we need to find is f of c of t. Okay, so in doing that, everywhere I see an x, I'm going to put a 2 plus t. Okay, so everywhere I see an x, I'm going to put a 2 plus t. So I'm going to have a 3 times 2 plus t. And then, everywhere I see a y, I'm going to put a 2 minus t. So this is minus 2 times 2 minus t. t and then where I see a z, I'm going to put a 2t. So this is going to be a plus 2t. Okay, let's go ahead and clean this up. This is 3t minus 2t is 1t plus 2t. Oh, that's 3t plus 2t is 5t. That makes 7t. Okay, so then that's 3 minus 2 is a, aha, that's 6 minus 2 is a 2 plus 2. Okay, so now we have our f of our parametrized curve. So we keep on keeping on. Now what we also need is we need c prime of t. So I'm going to go ahead and take the derivative of that. That's going to be 1 minus 1 and 2. Now what I need to do is I need to find the magnitude of c prime of t. In doing so, I'm looking at the square root of the squares of the components of the derivative. So this is 1 plus 1 plus 4, which is going to be the square root of 6. Alright, so now I can put it in my scalar form. In my scalar form, I'm looking for the integral from a to b of f of c of t times the magnitude of c prime of t dt. So this is my function evaluated along my path, and I'm going to multiply it by the differential of arc length. So here I see my limits. Those are going from minus 2 to 1. All right. And this is going to be 7 plus, that's 7t plus 2. And then I'm going to multiply it by the magnitude of the tangent, which is going to get me times the square root of 6 dt. So now what I can do is I can pass this out from my constant square root 6, and then I'm integrating from minus 2 to 1 of 7t plus 2 dt. Then I integrate this. That's the square root of 6 times the quantity. This looks like 7 halves t squared plus 2t from 1, or minus 2, to 1. Let me go ahead and plug those in. So this is going to be the square root of 6 times 7 halves 1 squared plus 2 times 1 minus 7 halves times the minus 2 squared plus a minus 4? Sure. Let's clean that up a bit more. I'll take it right on down here. That's going to get me the square root of 6, let's see, times 7 halves plus 2. Here, that's going to get me 4 divided by 2 is 2, minus 14, minus 4, 
sure. Let's clean that up. That looks like 10. So minus 10 plus 2. This is the square root of 6 times 7 halves. That was 10 minus 8. Great. So I'm almost done. Let me clean that up just a little bit more. Uh, minus, let's see, 16 minus 7 is going to be minus 9 halves root 16. And then, you do a box. Squeaky flower.